Hi, it's Abby. I'm live on Facebook. It's been so long since I've done this. It really has. I was a bit nervous of doing it because it's been so long, but I'm here now. And uh, I just wanted to say hello. One of the reasons why I was afraid to do this was because every month I was doing my diary walkthrough and you can't buy the diary anymore. So people were coming along and saying, oh my gosh, I want to see the diary. I want to buy it. And I can't say where to get it because it's just not here. But it, some of you do have it. And so I thought, well, I had a client and they didn't show up. And so let's go live. So if you're here, say hello. I have some things I'd like to share with you. I'd like to celebrate the release of my new book, Heal Your Inner Wounds, which is out now all around the world this month. Hiya, Tracy. How are you? What I've been doing this week is reading bits and pieces from each chapter because healing your inner wounds is like a huge topic. Uh, where do you start? What you cover? And um, I don't want to like push the book or anything, but I think it's really good. Hello, Liz. How are you? I think this book, you know, it has something in it for everyone. I'll just show you briefly the contents. Inner child, inner teen, your young adult, divine feminine, divine masculine, darkness and light. And wow, New Zealand. Oh my gosh, Liz. Wow, that is fantastic. Is it tomorrow over there? <laughs> um, I'm just loving what I do and doing what I love. And I just had a session with somebody and what we were talking about is so important. And then when my, my client for now says she has to take her son to the dentist, she wasn't able to make it. So I said, well, I'll go live. So firstly, let me share with you some beauty. Okay, can you see these? Look at these. Peonies. Can you see? Can you see inside? Oh, no, oh, look at that. Aren't they fabulous? They close up at nighttime and they open up during the day. And these babies are coming home with me. They're not going to stay in my office for the weekend. So if you have a question about healing or you just want to ask me anything, talk, you know, please put it here, put it in the comments. And what I'd like to do is talk to you a little bit about the energies of what's going on right now and how you can best get through it. Because everybody I know right now is kind of suffering from something. It's usually physical manifestation of the bombardment of the heaviness of the astrology of what's going on. So, um, yes, I just had a wonderful session with someone where I was saying this. I follow three or four different astrologers to get a bigger picture of what everybody's opinion is or what's going on. Because, you know, science, you have a machine and it measures something and you get a result. And the whole idea about science is that you can repeat this in other laboratories all around the world. But astrology is not the same. And you've got somebody's opinion and someone else's opinion. And then you've got some third opinion, fourth opinion. And the thing is, these astrologers are people and some of them have done their inner work and some of them haven't. So how they are interpreting what's going on is very much about them as a person. So what I've been doing is following three or four different ones. I'm finding that a lot of them are saying something that resonates with me, which is that we are in a unique time right now where we are being forced to recognize the truth of who we are and, um, I'm just noticing now the comments are going on here. We're being forced. We got our back to the wall here, guys. We have no choice. We have to be true. We have to strip away the lies. We have to live an authentic life. We have to really come to terms with who we are, why we're here, what we're doing here, and do we love it or not. And so the session that, I, that I've just had was really about what's your center? Where is your center? Okay. And your center is the truth of who you are. Or is the center who you want to be, who you think you should be? And then you've got this struggle going on all the time with trying to reconcile who you are holding with who you actually are. So those of you that are listening here that are here now live or those of you that will be watching this on a replay, please try and say this with me and mean it. Okay, because if you don't mean it, then we're back to the inner bullshit, the inner crap, the inner lies, right? Where we're going to say the truth is I know that I'm a work in progress. So can everybody say that and feel it and believe it? I know that I'm a work in progress. Yeah. I accept that there are things about me that I like and there are things about me that I don't like. And I let go of the need to push or force myself to change all of it. 
today? How does that feel? How does that sit with you? I know I'm a work in progress. I know there are things about me that I want to change. I'm going to release the pressure I put on myself to force those things, to push those things. Because when you do that, then you come back in. You rest in your own heart as you. And not as this person that you think you should be or this person that you want to be. And the, you know, the back of your mind is telling you, I'm not her, I'm not him. And that's the struggle. I'm just going to look down through the comments because there's loads of them now. Nicola, hello, Nicola. Hello, Laurie. Hi, Elaine. Lyric Liz says, yes, it's tomorrow over here. I'm going to laugh at that. I'm gonna, I think that's really brilliant. How are you doing, Mags? <clears throat> What, what Laurie says, I'd love to know about what's next for me. I'd love to know about what's next for me. Be empowered in your life, guys. Okay. Yes, I'm going to be totally straight with you. I have now, I've got psychic abilities. Okay. And when I connect into your energy, I can see where the blocks are. I work on a need to know basis. What do you and I need to know about you to release this? I'm not going to tell you your future because you have the will the intention and the power to make your future your own. So what if I was to say, here's a gift. Here's a gift. It's your future. And I'm giving it to you. And you can do anything you want with it. As long as, and here's the key, going back to what I just said, in your center, in your heart, you accept who you are completely for who you really are. Not who you're trying to be. Not what you're trying to achieve. Not a thing. Just you in your wholeness, in your beingness, in your imperfection to say, I know I'm a work in progress. See, here we go back to this again. I know I'm a work in progress. I completely accept myself as I am in this moment right now. And I allow myself to relax. I allow my heart to open and I support myself. I show up for me. And when I am on my side with me, I can do anything. Right, Laurie? So what is next for you is joy and beauty and pleasure and fun if you allow yourself to receive that. What is ahead of you if you don't is struggle and survival and possible pain. And these astrological energies are making us choose Right now, do you want to continue to survive or do you want to grow? Do you want to allow yourself to blossom? I have to show you these blossoms again. I'm just in love with these flowers. Look at this. When I say to you, I get beauty into my life, I deliberately bring beauty in and I choose beauty. This means going out and buying flowers. It means growing flowers. It means, you know, I don't know if you've seen my Facebook. I've just posted up loads of pictures of, of, of flowers. It's one of my favorite things. But if I wanted beauty and I just sat here and folded my arm and wanting beauty, wanting beauty, where's the beauty? And it's not, I'm not opening the door. I'm not letting it in. It's not going to come in. It's not going to come in. So hi, Elaine. I'm going to like your comment. Hi, Mags. Judy Hoffman, are you saying hello or are you saying help? <laughs> Zachariah says, where's the moon right now? Well, I think the moon is somewhere between here and earth and the sun. Um, I believe we have a new moon coming up. Moon and me, you know, this thing, the full moon, and if you know, I could feel the power of the energies of the moon because we're made of water and the water works with tides. But I'm not an astrologer, I'm a therapist. I work with your mind, with your soul, with your heart, with your body, with the adult in you to heal all of the aspects of you. So I don't look at the moon outside of me and say, Well, the moon is doing this, so that means I give my power to that. Too many people are doing that. No, I take my power back from the moon. I take my power back from Jupiter, back from Mercury. I don't care if Mercury is in retrograde or not. Mercury is doing what it's doing. And I am here in my wholeness, with my flaws, with my imperfections, with the beauty of life. I invite beauty in. I release the barriers to love. And I allow my life force to flow through me and that's the most I can do and that's what I can help you to do too okay when I say all these things I speak for all of you I speak for all of you so hi from Australia Lisa Marie Laurie hi hi I'm just looking hi from India what is my sign I don't do signs my sign is when I say is it going to be a beautiful day and the sun comes through my sign is when I work with a client over the online system we have an epiphany and this really happens. The internet craps out. I lose her picture. I lose the voice because the release of her energy is poof, 
and it blows up the internet and that's my sign that she's shifted another sign for me is when I'm talking about something and there's an interruption that's a sign that what I'm talking about is important do you ever hear those conversations where there's sirens you know I do that sometimes in my group online session there's sirens going off or something and I just say stop and listen to the sirens okay that's showing you that what you're doing is important those are the kind of signs that I work from okay lyric Liz, I am a work in progress Liz I don't think we've ever met before and you're coming up loads and loads for me so I'm sending you a big hug <laughs> it's really funny <clears throat> okay lyric Liz I'm a Virgo my husband's a Virgo I am to do it ask a, an astrologer to do a reading for you I don't do that I really don't I'm talking about energy I'm talking about us as human beings in our physical bodies in this moment right now with everything that we have to contend with with our eyes we can see our surroundings our environment but we also feel when we're in our bodies all these different energies coming through so what I'd like to do maybe try an exercise with you now if you're taking on anybody's emotional pain right now it adds to the weight and the burden of what you're carrying already so if you could feel your feet flat on the ground right now and just take a breath with me and open and soften and release and know okay now like you're tuning in to the responsible adult that you are and saying okay I accept myself completely I take full responsibility for myself so can you say that and believe that I will take full responsibility for myself and then imagine letting go of the responsibility that you've taken on for other adults in your life because if you're a mother or a father and you have children or you're a guardian and you're responsible for children you cannot do this with the children okay and I've got four children and I would never release my responsibility from my children but the adults in my life to empower them to be the adults that they are I give them the benefit of the doubt I release my need to control them because I'm not the one who knows best for them I know best for me and me alone and if you realize that that they don't need to do it your way they do it their way and that's okay and you bring your power back from them and put it into you you can actually release and expand and come more into your own body so it doesn't matter if you're a Virgo and your husband's a Virgo or if you're an Aries and you know your, your, your girlfriend is a Sagittarius what matters is the love that you have between you and do you want to put the effort in and the commitment to make that relationship work because you know you can sit back again and say all right law of attraction or the secret or any of these things I'm just gonna meditate I'm gonna wish I'm gonna put on my vision board and it'll come true no you have to do your work you have to do your inner work you have to accept yourself for who you are not say yes to things when you know you should say no not say no to things when you know you should say yes and just be the brightest light the clearest lightest you that you can be I mean that's why I'm here someone else was checking out my book wanting to know what it was this is the new one heal your inner wounds transforming deep emotional pain into freedom and joy and believe me you know it's a work in progress all the time you have to continue to do it and one day at a time is what I started off with I've just finished editing the 2021 it's not going to be out till November and oh my gosh it's the best one ever it really is I'm so excited for this but let's look at May so for those of you that have the book May is about love you see that I have to check and see if you can see it and the quote is this month I open up to a source of unconditional love let's say it really slowly and you say it with me this month May I open up to a source of unconditional love and just to visualize your inner child in your head right now and just see is she or he sitting there with the arms folded the legs cut no don't want unconditional love don't want any love or can they soften can you soften to them can you open and say okay I'm gonna open my arms and I'm gonna allow that love to come in I'm gonna trust that love exists that's the inner work that's the inner work so I'm gonna read what May has as the invocation for the month because whether you have the diary or not I think it's it's beautiful with peace in my heart so everybody just soften for a minute and breathe and say I invite peace into my heart and don't invite peace into your heart and then have your arms folded and not let it in okay <laughs> you have to invite peace in your heart and open to let it in 
I now feel ready to open and receive the love that's here for me. And for those of you that aren't ready, you can just say, I want to learn what's in the way of my opening and receiving love so that I can release that. Okay, as I shed what is no longer true and step into a lighter version of myself, I see the world with more loving eyes. So the more you're in flow, the more you have peace in your heart, the more peace you emanate outwards. Then you don't need people to do it your way. <clears throat> you're happy for them to do it their way, you know, because they're doing their best too. I am learning how to separate the person from the behavior, both for myself and for other people. So even if you have done something that you're not proud of or happy with, you can see it was what you did at the time and that you were still the you underneath. I release my expectations of others and see them for who they truly are. I'm getting to know myself better and I like myself more and more and I know that we are all doing the best that we can. That's a lot to do, to really be able to see that, to feel that, to live that takes bravery and courage and work. And to be truthful, to strip away everything that's lies that takes bravery and courage and work. And when I'm talking about the astrology, that's what it's making us do. It's forcing us to look at what's true and what's lies. And do I want to continue living my life in heaviness and lies? There are tons and tons of comments. Oh my God, hello, beautiful Ellen. Hello, hello. Hi, Laurie, lovely to meet you. Hi, Mary. Hello, Vicky from Montana. I've learned to just be and embrace me in my surroundings. And that's, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. And it's so difficult to do that in a way. It's so difficult to do. So I'm scrolling down through some of you. Andiamo Gons, it's nice to see you. Laurie Neeson, oh, how lovely to see you. Laurie Hansen says, if I choose to be positive and honest to myself, then th will things start to fall into place? That's a wonderful question. If I choose to be positive and honest to myself, well, let's get rid of the positive, okay? Because if being positive is telling lies, then you're not being true at all. If you choose to be real, authentic, and honest to yourself, don't lie to yourself. You don't need to impress yourself. You don't need to make up stories to yourself. Start to see what stories am I telling myself? You know, let's go for a really basic thing like, I hate my job. Do you really hate your job? Are you telling yourself you hate your job? Then you're filling yourself up with dread when maybe it's not your job that you hate after all. See how the stories that we tell ourselves create weight and heaviness that can stop us from being free and light. Will things start to fall into place when you can be? with yourself in your wholeness with all the parts of you that you don't like all the parts of you that you do like all the parts of you that need healing and all the parts of you that are already healed if you can just be and soften and relax then you can rest then you get replenished imagine yourself sitting under a tree and leaning back and feeling the tree supporting you and just going, ah, oh. and feeling the land beneath you supporting you and just going, ah, oh. and not feeling like you need to run away from yourself. Then you start to be in your life. And once you are more present in your life, then your eyes open more and the opportunities that you see and the things that you speak out for or, you know, or, or, or move towards change to become truer for you, to become more authentically real to what it is you're looking for. So don't be positive if being positive is telling lies to yourself about the glass is half full. Be positive by saying things like, I feel like crap today. That's truthful. I feel like crap today. What do I need to do to support myself so I get through the day and do all the things? Instead of saying, oh, everything's good and the sun is out and then, and then you're running away, you're jumping out of your body, you're not with how you're feeling. And that's what it's about, being in this body, this gift of a body that you have, to be in the present moment, to feel what you're feeling and process it and let it go, not hold on to anger, but release it in a positive way. Anger is creative. You know, anger is an emotion. Sadness is an emotion. Happiness is an emotion. They're all emotions. Why, you know, we strive to be happy. Let's strive for peace and love. 
and let the emotions go through us, increasing the quality of our lives so that we enjoy life and we're not surviving anymore. We are actually living. Okay. I'm going to keep going down. Joel, this is the message I needed to hear and see today. Thank you for being who you are. Well, thank you. And you know, I couldn't come on here and tell you guys to be who you are if I wasn't doing it myself. Okay, I mean, truly, I, I don't do that. You, you must be authentic. And people nowadays can see. You could see straight away if I was full of crap. You could see it. You would know. This, this girl is telling us, this woman is telling do all these things and she hasn't done them herself. I'm not interested. That's not me. That's not me. And I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that for you because what it has to be real. It has to be real to work. So hello to Nancy from America. Hello to Mary Grace. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to go through all these comments again. I can't believe I've already been live for 20 minutes. Liz, thank you for that. It's so awesome to see you here too. Thank you, Judy. Judy's always telling everyone, go and see Abby. Abby's great. It's okay. Um, I'm just me, you know, and I'm saying it how I feel. And I have healed my inner wounds. I have lifted out my emotional pain. I have transformed. I have transmuted. I have grown. I have enlarged. I have healing light coming through me because I've done my work. There's nothing particularly special about me, only that I have done all these things, you know, and I've done them so I have a structure. I have a pathway and if you want to do them and many of you are doing them too and you don't know how and you're feeling lost come over and, and we'll talk you know it's in the books it's in my group healing sessions I'm doing a group healing session at the end of this month clearing karma from past lives you know there's all these things I want to offer you that are here for you to take to go away and think about and you know take them or don't take them it's completely up to you Okay, Lisa Marie says at 52, I'm finally getting it. You know what, Lisa Marie? It doesn't matter how old you are. You have little kids now who are older souls than people in their 80s and 90s. Chronological time doesn't mean anything anymore. Anybody not know where the heck did 2019 go? Hey, we're in May already, fifth month of the year. But yet April feel like it went on for like four months. So chronological time, age, doesn't mean anything. I think it started about, I don't know, eight or nine years ago. My little babies were babies at the time, and they said, gosh, summer, summer went by so quickly. When I was their age, summer dragged on for months, for years. So it doesn't matter how old you are, as long as you do your work. You can do your work when you're in your 80s. You can do your work when you're 15, really and truly. It's just the most amazing experience to be alive. So good morning to everybody. Mini Carol, I'm learning to let go. I'm being honest with me. This takes work, but it's so good when things fall away. Yes, good for you. I keep other things on pink fluffy clouds and I stay on mine and feel that fluffy sparkliness is truly amazing. <laughs> I suppose in a way that's, that would be like making a list for the universe is going to take care of this stuff because I can't do it and I'm going to take care of the stuff I can do. You know, and if you see it as a pink fluffy cloud and it works for you, then that's wonderful. Or if you see it as a list for the universe, then that's wonderful. As long as you don't carry it within you as a burden to try and control things that you don't. Everybody knows that the only thing they can really control is their thoughts, their choices, the reactions. You know, you can choose those things, but then if you take a step back, are we really choosing anything? So, you know, it depends at what level you look at things. It can become very complicated. So, hello from England. Hello, Heidi and Mar. I don't even wonder if you're still here while I'm saying this. So, let's get real. Yes, Minnie, let's get real. All right. Mar Ritchie, I am a palliative care nurse and I feel blessed to be with people as they finish their journey here and continue to a new journey on the other side. And death is a part of life. We celebrate the baby being born, you know, and celebrating the life of somebody that's leaving. And, you know, if we can call it another side, it could be another dimension or another plane. You know, it's... Um, We've got plenty of stories about near-death experiences and people coming back and what they, they've, you know, and I, I know some really good, amazing authors who've written about this stuff, but again, it's about what's true for you. And you want to tell yourself a story or you want to be here. 
it all boils down to the quality of your life while you're here to not grab onto something to the detriment of your own mental physical emotional well-being but to release things and to be at your center so just one more time before i finish for you guys to just come into your heart and just say to yourself and mean it i completely accept myself for who i am right now today in this moment for all of the things that i'm working on all of the parts of me that i'm not happy with all of the parts of me that i am happy with in my wholeness means to accept all of the aspects of me and i do and I will allow myself to rest and relax. And I will allow myself to receive love. And I will allow myself to feel sadness and not run away from my emotions. And I will allow myself to be in my body and in the world. So I hope that I've given some of you some food for thought. Do continue to write. I'm going to sign off now, but do keep your comments coming. Come to Abby's Energy Healing page anytime. You can ask me any questions. You can come find me on Instagram. And I'll just show you one more time because it's actually out this week, this month. Heal Your Inner Wounds is, I have to say, it's one of the favorite books that I've written. I've written nearly 10 books now. And this one, this one, I hope this little bird is going to take this book and fly away and reach many, many people with it. And it's just been wonderful to reach you all right here, right now. Today, it's been a gift. And thank you so much. And uh, I'll talk to you in the comments. Okay, bye.